Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Sneaker Dan, back again with another new video. Um, I know it's been a quite some time since I made my last video. Um, it's been probably a year, probably more than a year, actually. And so I'm back. Um, I got really lazy for making videos, um, but I'm gonna start returning on whatever shoes that I had. I do have a, a couple of archives of videos of like my previous shoe reviews within the last like year, year and a half of like stuff that I copped in the past. So I can, I'm going to try to upload those, but today I'm just going to do a really quick review on this one release that I was so, so excited about. And I was able to hit on the sneakers app, which is the the White Cement 3s Reimagined. I'm really excited for this shoe, and so let's get right into it. <clears throat> so that, I already opened the box. Oh, and my nose. Okay, so off the bat, this is the box. The Weissman, Weissman 3 Reimagined comes in a very special box around this time. Um, just like the, um, pretty much the Reimagined series. Um, so back in December, the Jordan 1's Chicago, um, the Reimagined or Heritage, um, pretty much, Lost and Founds, they were released in a pretty much like a kind of beat up box, a little more vintage style, you know, type of way. The, this shoe box comes in say exactly pretty much the same style or fashion. It looks like pretty well run down, beat up, because it's supposed to help replicate the original 1980, I believe, Jordan 3 cement release. And so this is what the box looks like. Pretty cool box. Really nice touches of from Nike and Jordan brand now recently. So I'm really, really happy about what they're doing with a lot of the boxes. It's making them feel very special on their mostly in most like shoe releases are releasing these days. Got them in size nine and a half. It looks kind of weird on camera for you guys, but size nine and a half minutes. And I was going to hit these on the sneakers down. And here they are. The Weissman 3s. Man, oh man. These are so beautiful. And of course, just like wear testers, you gotta smell the shoe. Oh, smells so amazing, man. Oh, this was one of the releases that I was looking so, so, so forward to. Um, this year and I finally have it. I do have the black cement threes uh, from a couple of years ago from the previous release I do have the fire red threes that came out last year and finally to pretty much Put all the collections together. I finally got the white cements um, I couldn't get the previous white cement three release just because I wasn't really I wasn't really collecting shoes um, at that time period just because of monetary issues meaning that I didn't have enough money to buy shoes like this as a hobby and things like that so it's a really nice cop right now this is one of the few um, few cops that i've been waiting for i've been putting up uh, putting aside money for this and this is really nice to have a pair in my hand right now it's just i've been saving up money here and there um because i have other stuff that are more important right now recently but this was one item or one shoe that i really wanted so i i was able to set aside you know couple of dollars here and there um just to be able to hit on these honestly so i'm very happy uh, all right let's get right into the shoe so off the bat off the bat as you can see from the shoe white cement three really nice really clean looking right now um initial looks of it i just really love how it looks looks awesome you know it really brings back throwback of the old 1988 white cement threes that came out a long time ago they really pretty much recreated it almost and made it into more of a vintage style, which I really, really love. So materials off the bat is pretty much all leather upper right here. You know, just overall really nice plush. Um, a little bit of like a tumble leather texture on the, top, on the top of the whole shoe. But it's not super tumble, just like the Shadow Backboards or recent Jordan 1's um, releases, of course, like the Yellow Toes, for example. Um, slight, it's a very slight tumble, but it's very nice, very soft and plush. Um, the leather cuts are actually like really decently thick, I will say. So the leather is not, of course, always premium and Jordan brand, but it's good enough, I will say. Elephant print, elephant print on the toe box right here. Nice midsole. And of course, the Jordan 3 traction, you know, right here. Very nice, clean. Smells of rubber, very strong. Um, I noticed that this Jordan 3 release in particular, actually, the stars right here, it actually feels a lot more thicker than last last couple of jordan 3 releases i will say i don't know if that that just means the the rubber is just better quality or just you get more bang for your buck 
but I would assume that these these you would be able to hoop in them. Honestly, it's not the best shoe to hoop in, of course. But if you are thinking of hooping with them, I think these would be probably one of your better options. And I'll go into that um a little bit soon right now. Um, overall, just all leather, like pretty much upper rubber midsole, really nice Air Max unit in the in the back heel foot right here, as you can see. Air unit in the back. And then inside of the shoe, pretty much the insole is a polyurethane insole, hence why I, I say that you are able to ball on these. The performance probably is probably honestly not that bad. Um, of course, it is a Jordan 3, it's very old tech. Um, but if you are planning to ball on these, maybe as a beater um, later in the years, probably you definitely can. Definitely easier in your feet, mainly for comfortability wise. Um, design of the shoe, what can I say? This is a really nice design. It's, beautiful it's so it's just so pretty honestly you know all white right here with a hints of gray with the elephant print you know and of course what i really love is pretty much like kind of like the vintage off white kind of cream white you know midsole right here it just makes it a really nice touch the shoe shows off the you know original design of the shoe as well it kind of shows like the you know vintage and history of the white cements and you know overall how it worked um uh, main thing i really love is the nike air in the back as well the nike air is is great a great addition compared to the typical jordan brand um jumpman logo overall it's just a great shoe um of course all as well as the elephant print too elephant print it really depends on a lot of pairs apparently um some people said the elephant print the grooves are actually a lot more thicker in certain pairs some pairs or just like mine, they're a little bit more thinner, kind of like, I guess like, not <clears throat> not thin, but like it's not thick compared to like the black cements or the previous white cement colorway. And but yeah, overall, I love how the shoe looks. I can't wait to put them on feet. And this is probably one of the best Jordan releases of this year, honestly, in my opinion. It might be my number one pick. Um. I know there's a bunch of other shoes releasing right now. It's a whole year. It's only the beginning of the year. It's only March. But this is probably the biggest um, release for me personally. And this is such a great addition to my collection. Um, honestly, in the future, if I have enough money, I might actually just get another pair just to put it on ice. And so I can just wear these, beat them up. And so I have a fresh pair ready for me later in the future. But that's pretty much it for the video. Um, thank you guys. Um, please comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next time in the next video. Peace.